Hi guys. So in this video, we are going to share with you a few, I'm saying a few actually, you're going to give them the map, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to share with you our map of over a hundred places that we've stayed in our big old seven meter motorhome. Um, also, we are going to share with you our top five places that we would definitely recommend. We have five that maybe we wouldn't go back to. <laughs> and five that, they weren't free, but they weren't expensive, were they? No, we've done five for a fiver. So as many of you know, we have actually been on the road since April last year. So that is nearly 16 months. Yeah, absolutely. So we've had a good few park ups around the UK. If you would like to see some free park ups and you would like to know how and where to see our map, then stay tuned. So out of the 100 places, here's some places to maybe avoid. So this first one was when we were on our way to Skegness and we had to stay in the lay-by. I think I kind of psyched myself out to begin with because the reviews were really, really bad and they mentioned somebody being attacked and this and the yeah. other. But it was extremely busy road. There was a lot of people coming and going all night. Yeah, I would just avoid that one. Just me. wasn't comfortable, was it? No. no. Next one is Western Supermare. Um, if you don't know about Western Supermare already, there is a video to it. But Western Supermare would be a one that we would personally never ever go back to. And that is because we got a £100 fine for paying six minutes late. While we were up in Scotland, we visited the Mull of Galloway. And it was so windy, we were planning on stopping there. We didn't, and we drove down to Stranra. What a mistake. Yes, it was a very, very busy night with uh, not just boy racers, girl racers, which is now a thing. Um, and they decided that they would play some pretty good tunes, but it was until half past two in the morning. Yeah, if you want some sleep, avoid Stranraw. And our biggest avoid, biggest, biggest, biggest avoid ever would be... It's a place called Pyle, or it's near Pyle in Bridgendin, Wales. It's a gay cruising lay-by and it's pretty disgusting because we went there mid-afternoon on a Sunday and it was pretty full on. Any new places that we add to our map, get put onto our Facebook group, which is for larger motorhome and camper van overnight stays. The link is in the description below, along with the link to our map. It's a very, very good map. It is a very good map, I liked mm. it. Now let's have a look at these places that you can stop for for a fiver. Rather cheap, Andrew. Good value. Our first one for five for a fiver, Southport, five pound overnight, absolute bargain. Yes, and it was right near the port and the town. The park at the back had overhang for the grass if he was needed as well. Yeah, it's had some bad, bad press um, about parking in this car park, but we spoke to the parking attendant, absolutely fine as long as you're in the right space, in a bay, um, and if you need to overhang, overhang the grass. And I hope you like geese. Lots of geese. Next one up is Carlisle, one of Stuart's favourite park-ups. It is. It's right next to the castle. It does have quite a few dedicated motorhome bays and has a beautiful park right next to it. Also, it has the Visco Factory. Yeah, pretty much just down the road is the McVitie's factory shop where you can get some right old bargains. On our way to Sky, we stopped at the pit stop at Kintail. What a view, Stuart. It was. It was a beautiful view of the big loch. Yep, yeah, £5 to stay overnight, go and pay in the cafe. You won't go wrong if you're coming onto Sky or just coming off it. Beautiful, beautiful view. While we were in Cornwall, we visited Tintagel. We did, and it was really, really nice to visit King Arthur's, wasn't it? It was a nice park up there. Yeah. It, they were in the middle of building a brand new area with showers, there was toilets as well, and you were right on the front, weren't you? Yep, yeah, right next to everything, right in the middle of town. Great park up for a fiver. One that we've been to recently, get away from it all, Field Farm. I have to say this is one of my favourite ones, to say that it was only a five a donation, but you had just a beautiful place to be able to park up away in nature, away from most of the bustle, hustle and bustle of city centres, and yeah, it was just a donation of a fiver. Yeah, only drawback is it's on the flight path to East Midlands, but if you're not bothered about the planes, it's beautiful, it's an animal sanctuary. Now, let's give them a bit of a description of how to use our map. If you click on the pins on the map, it will bring up a brief description and a video link. We have done as many videos as we can on the different places that we've stopped. There are lots of places on this map. So if you're on your phone 
Um, you may get a little panel at the bottom. Click on that and it'll open it up right up so you can see the whole description. Uh, we've got some notes on all of the places that we've stayed. Some are brief, some are better, but have a go. Now we've made it right to the end, so we do have five free park ops. First one, one that we've stayed at recently, RAF Coningsby. What a place if you're into planes. You do have to like planes. But if you go over a weekend, there is no planes. So if you stop on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you're guaranteed to buy a weekend. But if you're really, really into your planes, yeah, Monday through to Friday, you are guaranteed to see some pretty good takeoffs. Yeah, there's a burger van there, so you can get your breakfast or a burger, and occasionally the ice cream van comes as well. A beautiful place that we parked just outside of Scarborough, Raven's Car. So Raven's Car is actually a National Trust area, but it does have a beautiful cafe, it does have National Trust toilets, and it does have a water point. One of both of our favourite places is on the west coast of Scotland, and it's just outside of Larks. It is, it is in Marina. But it is a marina with a very big car park that does actually have signs for motor owners. It also has a barbecue point and you're right on the seafront. Beautiful place. Next up is Castleton. We're late to the party on this because everybody else knows about it. But we enjoyed it, didn't we, Stuart? We did. It was a beautiful park up. Took us a while to get the level, but you've got a beautiful walk into Castleton. You have got all the caves. Yeah, it was a very, very beautiful park up. And the hills for walking. Last one up is North Berwick. What a beautiful place and what a beautiful park up right next to the beach. If you are lucky enough that you can actually get parked up on this road, then yeah, well done. It was an absolute beautiful park up. You are right on the seafront within a 10 minute walk into all the shops and the little village. Yeah, definitely one that we would return to. But you are going to be extremely lucky to get in because it is so popular because it is so beautiful. The five freebies are all on our map and we put a gold star on each of them to find them a lot more easily. Have we done an icon for the places that we don't recommend? Um, yeah, they're black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do us a favour, have fun. And if you have any amazing stairs that you would like to come below that we haven't stopped at yet, that are either free or maybe with some places to avoid, or ones that are cheap, yeah, comment below and let us know what you think. Yeah, places to avoid are just as important as places to stay. Yep. And please do remember, leave no trace. That's really, really important. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it helps. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.